every mistake possible. It was an opportunity for me to get rich quick and very quickly got burnt, which I completely deserved. I have lost countless amounts of money. I went to the bank and I extended my student loan. A couple of days later, the entire thing was gone. I lost the entire thing. From losing this money, what the fuck am I gonna do? So I actually quit trading. All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So a lot of you guys may know me, may not know me. A lot of people have been asking about my trading journey and how I went from literally being an incredibly broke student, not knowing where my life was going to go or where I wanted to take it to now, you know, doing what I'm doing, trading full time, been trading now for around five years, full time for three. And I'll show you guys exactly how I did it, the struggles I went through, the losses that I took and give you guys full transparency on what it actually takes to become a full time day trader. So I know in my life, you know, I always knew knew that I wanted to do something different and the norm wasn't necessarily for me. I didn't want the normal life of waking up, going to work, coming home, watching TV and doing all over again and living for the weekends. I did that for a long time. I had a part-time job since I was 14. So then I went to university at like 21 and still had jobs in between that. So I pretty much, you know, left school, went straight into work because, you know, I thought the only way that I'm going to progress in life is just, you know, by going to get a job and living for the weekends. And I found out very quick that that life just simply wasn't for me. And you know, some people are happy with that life of, you know, having a complacent life and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, going to work, having your salary, coming home and kind of doing the same routine for me. It just wasn't how I wanted to picture my life. I don't like being told that I have to be at the same place at the same time doing the same shit every single day. I went to university later on. So I went to university when I was about 21 years old. And the only reason I went to university is because where I'm from in Jersey, they paid for the entire thing. So it bought me a lot of time to figure out what I wanted to do. It wasn't really I went to university because I wanted to get a degree to become a doctor. In some cases, you could say university in terms of getting a degree was essentially pointless. But if I didn't do that degree, I 100% wouldn't be sitting here now because it was during that degree where I stumbled across trading and then decided to follow that path. As I was doing my degree, you know, every summer holiday, I'd be coming back, working a job. And, you know, and the closer I got to the end of my degree was like a countdown to shit. If I don't figure something out soon, I'm going to have to go back to what I was doing before this even came into place. Fortunately enough, it was around the time towards the end of my degree, maybe the last year of my degree where I stumbled across trading because I saw people on Instagram popping bottles of champagne. And I thought, hey, I want to make money from my phone. I want to pop champagne in the club. I want to be able to travel where I want. Let me do this. Let me follow you guys. What are you guys doing? How can I do this? And now I'm going to tell you guys about the biggest loss I ever took in my career mentally. So when I first saw these people trading, I didn't, I'd have no idea what trading was. I didn't know what trading was. I know, sure, there's people that, you know, trade the stock market, stuff like that. But I had no idea what it was. I was a very naive young person, think it was an opportunity for me to get rich quick and very quickly got burnt, which I completely deserved. So I reached out to these people and whatever stage you guys are watching this that you're at in your journey, any mistake that you think you have done that I haven't done, I promise you I have done every mistake possible. I followed the signals. I've joined the telegram groups. I've joined the broker. That's how I got started. I have lost countless amounts of money and gone round in circles for two years. Remember, I didn't make any money in trading for the first two years, not one single penny. In fact, I lost money for, for the first two years. And I'm absolutely not afraid to share that with you guys. And I'm not afraid to give full transparency because essentially they were two years of just constant failure, but constant sticking through and just believing in myself and knowing that it's actually possible to be able to come out on the other side to three years later, quitting my job one day and just completely walking out to follow my dream of traveling and trading full time. So I reached out to these people and they said to me, you know what? You can actually copy our trades for free. I said, so I can copy your trades for free and I can just make the exact same money as you do. So obviously I joined up to their broker. I won't say the broker's name and I had to deposit a certain amount of money to be entered into that community, that telegram group. And you know, now I know the more trades that they sent, the more trades that you take, the more commission they make. So I essentially started off with about 300 pounds, I think, you know, which you guys will go, oh, that's not a lot of money. To me at the time, that was a lot of money. I didn't have any real income. I wasn't working. I was still towards the end of my studies and that was my only real saving. So I put that money into the account and I started to make some money, which I was like, holy shit, is it, is it, is it, if we just cracked the system, if we just learned how to make money from my fucking phone. Um, and then, you know, obviously I had no idea what risk management, they don't teach you risk management. They just want you to trade as big a size and blow as much money as you want because the more size and more trades you take, the more money they make. So I actually ended up losing that account. I lost that account and I had no more money to put back into the market. So I stupidly, and I highly recommend you guys do not do this. I went to the bank and I extended my student loan to 1,500 pounds. 
I took all of that money and I put it into the broker with them. And I was like, well, if I just keep following their trades properly, and maybe I trade smaller size, then I can eventually make more money. And I think I doubled that account in a couple of days. A couple of days later, the entire thing was gone. 1,500 pounds just gone. I lost the entire thing. And to me at the time, that was incredibly, incredibly devastating in terms of is trading possible? Can I bounce back from losing this money? What the fuck am I gonna do? So I left that group. I eventually came to my senses that it's bullshit. There's no get rich quick scheme in this game, but I more importantly, and this is the reason I hate people on Instagram and social media who give false advice and who are false traders because they give people false hope. And when I lost this money by following this group, I massively, massively, massively doubted if it was even possible to make money in this game because I saw I could make money. You know, I flipped my account very, very quick, made like 500 pounds in a couple of days. So I saw that it was possible, but I was like, it must just be gambling. You know, it's, it's as possible as going to the casino and getting a little bit lucky. So I didn't think that there was an opportunity for me to be able to do it actually consistency and be able to trade in terms of probability and being a consistently profitable trader. So I actually quit trading. I then went to go get a marketing job back in the UK. And I did that for about six months. But during that time, it was very hard for me to sit at a nine to five desk working from 8.30 till five for maybe 1,200 pounds a month, you know, minus tax. It was pathetic. I was literally selling all of my time for fuck all in return. But it was during that time where in the back of my head, it never left my mind of I've seen that it's possible to make money from the markets, but how do I do it consistently? Who's doing it consistently? And then I started to kind of surround myself with more traders who weren't just selling signals that were more so showing up and trading consistently. And I started to leave the whole social media world alone and just focus on people who are providing real value with real results. And that's kind of where for me, my trading did take a big turn. So every single day when I would walk to work, when I'd walk home from work, when I'd be on my lunch, it was just the charts, trading, trading, trading. The second I would wake up, you know, if I had some spare time before I would go to work, you know, I'd be watching a video about trading. I'd be listening to a podcast about trading. Literally anything I could do at any point. I was like, I have to make this work. I cannot do this job forever. You know, roll on six months. I, I hated that job. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I, I quit. So one day I literally walked out. I got paid on the Thursday. I left on the Friday and I just quit. Not just because I didn't like the job, but there was also a lot of other external things that went on. And I quit my job. I left my apartment in Manchester and I moved back home with my parents in Jersey for a little while. So I could kind of really figure this out. And I was starting to gain a little bit more consistency and things were starting to click a lot more. And I was kind of seeing, you know, not amazing results, but more consistent results. And I was starting to learn a lot more and understand the markets from a much deeper perspective. And one of the things that helps me go from constantly failing in the markets to gaining some consistency was removing the expectations and the emotional attachment to the money. When I first started trading, I only started trading because I wanted to make money and that was all this I'm only trading to make money which is obviously the only reason we all trade is to make money but I wasn't trading out of a passion or enjoyment process I just wanted to trade and because I want to make money and I'm taking all this anger out on the markets where once I kind of reeled that in a bit and I started to trade from that neutral perspective of you know I'm now trading because it's a passion for me it's more satisfying for me to be able to call market direction well than for me to say you know what I made $500 so once I ignored the get rich quick bullshit and I started to trade from a place of I want to trade because I'm passionate about the charts and this is all I want to do and this was literally my life. My life was purely trading and this is all I want to do and I will not stop until I make this happen because I'm a strong believer that if someone is doing something that I want to do, there is absolutely no fucking reason why I cannot do it. They may be smarter than me, they may have more money than me, but in my humble opinion, no one will out fucking work me and that was all I had in my head. If someone's doing this, so can I. Whatever it may be, I have to be all in. So roll on some time. So I went back home, you know, I wasn't making any money. I was doing little part-time jobs and then roll back to about March, 2020. That's when I got my very first funded account with FTMO. And for me, this was a massive breakthrough. I had just proved to a company and proved to myself that look, I could make 15% consistently. And that's when I got my first funded account. And as soon as I got that first funded account, I was like, this is the fucking best feeling in the world. And I had to run with this. And remember throughout my journey, you know, of two years of constant failure, and I mean constant failure, I never doubted myself once. Never. I never doubted myself. I never doubted if this is even possible. The second you start doubting yourself in trading, business, life, whatever, is the is the second that you have already lost in this game. You have to have self-belief and you have to have the desire to want to actually push through hard times and no other career is going to test you to the level that trading can test you. And trading can take you to incredibly dark places where if you manage to come out the other side, you can create a very successful career in life for yourself. So I got that 
that first fund account, 50,000. And at that point I packed up my entire life into a little backpack and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go and run with this. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going. And at the time I remember me and my mom, we sat down in our garden and we were drinking, having a coffee. And I just sat down to us like, what do I do? You know, I, I've got my first funded account. If I can trade this consistently, I can make more money in a job or do I play it safe and go back to the UK and go get a, you know, another job. So it didn't really take long for me to say, absolutely fucking not. I don't remember if my mom was, I think my mom actually encouraged me to take the leap, to take the risk because of what's the worst that can happen if all else fails? You know, I've got my degree, I've got my work experience. I'm 25 years old. If all else fails, I have something to fall back on. There is no reason for me to not take this leap into my passion and my dream of traveling and trading full time. So I basically packed up my entire life in literally maybe a couple of hours or a day and I booked my first one-way ticket out and I went to go see my friend in Oslo and sitting on that plane was probably the most nerve-wracking, exciting, euphoric feeling in the world that finally I'm making this happen. So I quit my job towards end of, must have been end of 2019. By March 2020, I got my first account and I was following my dream of trading and traveling full time. So my life went from two years of constant failure to six months completely breaking through, everything making much more sense. And from then on out, the rest is just up from there. So I then traveled, you know, I, well, I mean, still traveling. I've been trading now full time for three years. I've been trading for five years in total. I'm 28 years old now. So it has been one hell of a journey, but I'm also want to share my journey to inspire you guys and show you the reality that, you know, trading isn't easy. It's going to be hard, but I promise you guys that it's sure as hell worth it. And the only reason I do these YouTube live streams and trade for for free on Zoom and trade for free on YouTube is so you guys can actually see that it's possible because I would have only wished I had someone in my early journey showing up every day trading live that I can see, look, this is possible. They're doing it consistently every single day so I can make it happen. So that's the only reason I do the YouTube streams is to show you guys that it is really possible and you guys can make your dreams come true, whatever it may be. And like I say, it's not gonna be easy. Two years of constant failure and trading taking you into deep, dark places, doubting yourself, wondering if this is all a big scam, if it's even possible to break through so your whole trading career, you could take two years to go up and down, up and down. And as soon as you have that breakthrough, you know, you can go to zero to a hundred very quick. And getting my first payout was probably the most crazy feelings in the world. You know, I had just made my entire month's salary in a couple of hours swing trading at the time. And to me, that was just mind blowing. And as soon as I kept doing that, you know, I then got more funding. I was building my personal capital. And from then on out, <laughs> as cliche as it sounds, the rest is history. And unlike other trading gurus, I didn't open my private community until I had been trading full time for like over two years. I shared every single trade for the first two years on Telegram for absolutely free, for free. And the Telegram absolutely grew so fast because people were so surprised at what I was sharing for free. And you guys can go through the old Telegram and you can see every single trade from the past, like almost four years now. But it got to a point of where people were taking my free trades and I'm deadly serious. Some of the guys who are still in the community now that with me from Telegram group know exactly what I'm talking about, where people were taking my free trades and putting it into their paid group. And it got to a point where the Telegram, because it was free, it became so toxic for of like, you know, people trying to share profits, sell you shit. So the Telegram's actually still up. I don't really use it anymore. But then we, you know, launched the private community where I day trade live on Zoom every single day. I teach my full strategy and I share as much value as I can in terms of psychology and how I managed to go from, you know, working a nine to five job, being a dead broke student, getting given like 50 pounds a week to what I'm doing now. So it's been one hell of a journey, but I hope this video inspires you guys to stick at it and let me be living proof. If not anyone else, let me be living proof that it is actually possible possible and you guys can actually make this happen. You have to stick to the plan. Stop trading because you want to get rich because that's not going to happen just yet. If you want to get rich and train, sure, it may happen, but it's not going to happen just yet. It takes time. Trade from a passion. I would spend countless amount of hours staring at the charts, perfecting my craft, and I still do to this day. Even though I've been trading now full time for three years, I still put in an incredible amount of work and I'm redefining my plan every single day. And you guys have to trade from that passion. If you don't trade from that passion, either it will come or trading just may not be for you, which is totally okay. Trading isn't for everyone. But for the majority of you guys who are watching, you are here for a reason. So I hope this story did inspire you. Remember, follow the plan. Don't doubt yourself. It's possible. Make shit happen.